Hello folks, uh, this is Robert here with more Rivet Training. Today we're going to look at MEP and we're going to look at here in Systems tab what we call Fabrication Part. We select it here, you can hit this little pull down and this will open up. I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to just select it here and it will open up here in the panel. And then all you do is you just go below here and you select settings. And then you'll go to these configurations. And I've got <clears throat> one for MEP and one for metrics. So let's look at the, ME, the Imperial. So these are all of your different systems, ductwork, piping, electrical cable tray, ladder, and you can... Uh, Wireways, you get the different piping. I said that. <clears throat> and then we can go here. So I don't see any wire basket here. So what I'm going to do is, so I can reload this configuration here. And let's go down and look at the metric. <clears throat> So in metric, if I scroll down, we got PVC, we'll have that. And look at that. They have wire basket cable tray. So I'll go in there, add that. Let's see if we can get a ladder here as well. And then let's do piping ABS. And then let's say OK. So now here's our menu and there's my wire basket but they didn't give me the option in imperial I don't know why so this is only happening for us in metric so it's very simple how this works so there's my ladder so we got many more parts for the ladder uh, I guess they're still working on the basket there's all my piping all of my fittings and then I've got even hangers and uh, brackets here. So this is pretty good, kind of generic looking. So let's go back into our wire basket. So it's <clears throat> just simply, uh, if I want a straight, I'll just take a straight here and place it. And then if I want to do a 90, I can just place them on 90 right here. <clears throat> I don't think I want to turn that way, so I'll select it and hit this little icon here. That switches it from back and forth. And let's go with another straight here. So this is pretty neat here. Uh, let's do a 90 sweep. <clears throat> let's add another straight. So now also what you can do, you can edit the size. So I'll select it. And here it says edit part, you'll select edit part. Now here, this is 100 by 100. And I think we want to kind of match the cable tray we had in here. So let's go with a 300 mil by 100, which is closer to a foot in uh, Imperial. Well, a little over a foot, I think. And then we'll say, okay. So that size changed it. That even put it even put in a reducer for us. So that's pretty good. And then here, let's go. Let's add another 90 right here. So it adjust it to the size, and let's go with a straight. So this is pretty neat. So Autodesk is giving metric. Uh, they're giving metric a nice little wire basket functionable cable tray as opposed to the one we've used here which is not that functionable let's see if we can do some other things here uh let's see if i can stretch this oh yeah i like that that's great so now let's see if we can continue this <clears throat> Let's do a offset here. Let's go here. Just place a piece there. Let's see what's going on on our 3D view. We actually went up. I think I want to go down. And there we go. And then we'll just continue this with another straight. Let's go at this point. So that's pretty neat. 
So now we can go back here. Let's go look at our ladder tray here. Do a straight. So it works pretty much the same. So let's edit this part. Now these parts are also metric. So we want to make this uh, 300 by 150. We'll say OK. And then we'll go and add, uh, let's do a 90 here. Actually, let's do a T or cross. This is pretty neat. <clears throat> a lot faster, smoother. And now let's go and look at what else we have in here. Let's go look at some piping here. So let's do a straight run. I'll just take this, say here. Let's do a bend here, an elbow. This is not bad. <clears throat> so I got to make sure that connector's hidden there. So that's what I, let's see if I can do this again. Let's delete this out. Delete this one out. Let's do this piece again. Hmm, interesting. So let's do a straight here. So these are pretty neat. They work a little differently from what um, the regular system tray is. So like if I go here, see if I can add a, tray, add a conduit. So it's not letting me do that old command, but this is fine. I don't have a problem with this. Okay, so um, I just want to show you this quick little brief video of how fabrication parts work. They similar to like a, a a palette for families, but I wouldn't really call these families because actually, hmm, interesting. But anyway, guys, I just want to show you this quick video of how <clears throat> you have the wire basket and prefab parts available in uh, metric, not in period yet. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you got anything out of it. Got anything out of it? And if you have any questions, please leave in the comment section. I mean, I kind of like this. Um, let's go back to our wire basket. Actually, here we want to go back to our ladder. <coughs> want to do a straight? There you go. See if I can do a T here. So the T won't cut in like it normally does, which is, I don't know. If I, well, I guess it's okay. So, hey guys, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video. There's something called smart snapping. Let's see how that works. Just get in there. Just put that right there for now. Let's go with another straight. I like this though. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like this. It's not bad. But hey folks, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now and everybody please be safe. Bye.